Let's make kimono sleeve patterns. My name is Jean and welcome to Pattern Studio 101. I post pattern making tutorials every week. The videos are short and easy to digest. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss new lessons. Today, we are going to make kimono sleeve patterns. As you can see in this drawing, kimono sleeve doesn't have armhole seam. The sleeve piece is attached to the body, so it's one piece. When you make kimono sleeve, let's say blouse, you're going to draft bodies first, front and back, whatever the design you want. When you draw the bodies, keep in mind the space you need for sleeves. I'm going to use my blouse patterns and I don't want to have any darts, so I'm going to remove my waist dart. And for the side dart, I'll move it to the armhole. I'm going to draw the armhole line, but you don't have to. In case you have a shorter dart, you can move them as well. You can move them to the armhole, or if it's too big, spread to the armhole and waist. So you don't have any shoulder dart. Once you draft the kimono sleeve patterns, you're gonna have a long shoulder seam. From your neck all the way down to your sleeve hem. If the angle is different front and back, then the blouse sleeve might be twisted. So put your front pattern on top of the back piece. Match high shoulder point you see my patterns, shoulder angles are different. I'm going to revise the front, so make sure they are the same. When I match the side seam of front and back, in my case, the front armhole depth is smaller than the back armhole depth. That's perfectly okay. If they are the same, no problem. But if the front armhole depth is bigger than the back, then it's better to revise the armhole before you draw kimono sleeve because your shoulder seam will sit further towards the back. Let's draw kimono sleeve. Back body first. Mark quarter of an inch up from the shoulder point and connect to the high shoulder point. With a long ruler, we are going to extend the line the sleeve length you want. Draw a perpendicular line. This is going to be a half of your sleeve hem if your front and back armhole depth are the same. Remember, my front armhole depth is smaller than the back, so I'm gonna add one eighth of an inch here and I'll take out one eighth of an inch on the front. Connect to the underarm point. To make a curve, I would go 3 inches each side and draw a curved line. Same for the front. Mark quarter of an inch up from the shoulder point and connect to the high shoulder point. Extend the line with your sleeve length. Draw a perpendicular line. The width will be a half of your sleeve hem. For me, a half of my sleeve hem minus one eighth of an inch. Connect to the armhole point. Three inches each side. Make it curve. This is kimono sleeves. When I match the side neck point, two shoulder seam are the same. The front is in blue. If I match sleeve inseam, you see the back sleeve is quarter of an inch bigger than the front. As I said before, it can be the same depending on your body patterns. I'm going to show you how to make dolman sleeves next time using these kimono sleeve patterns that we made today. If you are interested in basic sleeve pattern makings, I have two videos you can watch. Thanks for watching, have an amazing week my friend and see you next time!